Now that we filled you in on what to wear to your holiday party, it is time to know what to drink once you get there. Here to reveal the recipes for the hottest holiday cocktails is Jeff Bell, head mixologist at PDT Bar in New York City. Hey, Jeff. Hey. All right. Key to an amazing holiday drink. What is it? Uh, you want to use bright colors and, and fun garnishes to finish the drinks to kind of make it memorable. Okay, let's get started. What's the first drink you're making So for us? we're going to do the black flip first, but I make drinks all day long. Uh, I would like a little help today if that's sure, okay. Sure, of course. So why don't you start with one of those eggs and just crack the whole thing in there. Really? Except the shell. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah. next up is some, some molasses forward rum. So this is going to have Ooh. a little bit of Demerara sugar, molasses rum, and some black chocolate stout. So you can get chocolate, molasses, and a little bit of egg. So yeah. it's going to be full bodied. It's kind of like a milkshake for grown ups. Okay. So this I'm all is for that. So you give it one quick little shake like that just to get everything incorporated. You want another one? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The health department isn't here. Go ahead. All okay. Right. <laughs> so then we'll just shake it up real quick. It's the part we like. And then we'll strain this guy off into a little fizz glass. Oh, it kind of looks like a milkshake, doesn't it? It does. And then eggs don't have a ton of aromatic to them, nothing really that pleasant. So we just finish an egg drink with a little bit of, a little bit of nutmeg or something. All right, mm -hmm. good. So I serve this for my, my family every Christmas. That's good, actually. <laughs> so, no, it's All good. Right. It's strong, it's strong. Okay, what's next? Next up we have the, the No Let's Noel. So this is crisp, refreshing. This is something that's gonna... This is more my speed, I this think. Is this is speed. citrus, is that grapefruit Yeah, juice? a little bit of grapefruit. Yeah. A little bit of lime. Ooh, lime juice, just so you buy The fresh lime. Yep. Oh. And then this is, uh, this is just some cane syrup. So it's just kind of a reduction of um, sugar cane juice. Okay. Just enough to give it a little bit of body. And then this is pretty much Christmas tree in a bottle. It's a, what it's, is that? It's a Douglas fir eau de vie, which means it's eau a brandy. Eau de vie? Wow. Oh. So we'll just do a half ounce of this. And then this is a, this is a pretty floral gin. We're just going to do three quarter ounce of this guy. You, you missed a little. A little just so bit. you know, it wasn't up to the top. There's a, there's a graduated line in there. Oh, just I didn't see that. Okay, sorry. Right. No, but okay. No one, who's paying attention to that? I've been doing it all wrong for years. And then. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What more are you putting in now? So this is, this, is a, this is a gin that's been infused with damson plums. So see that dark, that dark color? Yeah, it's yeah. Nice, okay. nice sour jamminess to it. And this one, we're just going to shake it up. You I want might, me to do it? I think, I think she should shake, you guys. Yeah. So, make sure there's a nice seal on there. Just go for it. Yeah. Is that good? How do you know when you've done enough? You, you just know. And then which way do we go? This way? No, the oh, the other way. Go either way. There you go. Like a pro. Okay. So then we'll strain it off. And then do you garnish this? I was thinking about, we had some Christmas tree in there, right. so we might as well finish with a little Christmas tree. Okay. And just drop a little. That's so cute. All right, let me try this one. I like that. Yeah. That I one's, like a, that one's I pretty like popular. One. Yeah, okay. Finally, this is. So finally, this is, when I'm doing cocktail parties, I like to make sure that I don't have to be in the kitchen the entire time making drinks. Right. So what I do is I just, create a big cocktail. And then we talked about garnishes a little bit earlier, so I just throw a little bit of citrus on there so it looks pretty when people walk in. You want to add a few more of those? Yes. <laughs> I can't bother with this thing. This is, is that enough? Uh, I would add a couple more lemons, a couple more grapefruits. Because you want your guests to walk in and enjoy themselves. See, okay. that's beautiful. Hit it with a little bit of, this is a spice. It's a long pepper and mace. It's very strong, that spice, yeah. yeah. What is so it, did you say? Mace? Yeah. It's kind of, <laughs> it's what kind is of like, mace? It's like, it's like nutmeg. Oh, it's like nutmeg, okay. Smell it. Whew. That's not, that's not a good smell. It's not a good smell? Not particularly, no. We'll skip that on yours. No, 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 no. It might be good and blended. Yeah. Blended. All right, now is All that right, it? All right, so why don't you, you want to ladle some? Yeah, sure, but you so didn't blend it, did you? It's already blended. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those are just a garnish. Okay. So this is scotch, lemon, grapefruit, and some beer. Oh, there's beer in here, too. Yeah, so this is kind of like for the scotch beer drink at the party. You put more of that stuff on there? Smell it first. Okay, now, put a little. Now smell it again. Yeah. See? Yeah. It adds to the scotch. 
You know what? I have to say it's good, and I don't like scotch. So, yeah, so when you do a cocktail party, you want to make sure you have a, a wide lineup of drinks, a little bit, a little something. Do you come with a party? I, I can. Okay, for the right good price. enough. Thanks so much to <laughs> Jeff Bell from PDT in New York. And you can find the recipes for all these cocktails made today at the